Good morning, guys. So, last night there was a horrible incident on the couch where Stella thought it was a good idea. Now, so Craig had gone to a friend's house to pick something up. I had to pee. Normally Stella comes into the bathroom with me because she likes to point out that I'm peeing. Um, you know, those of you that have kids, like, you know that they do that. Like they just, for some reason, it's like fascinating for them to like watch you pee. Um, so she decided to stay out here and she got into my little junk drawer here. I know everybody has one of these. It's like the drawer where all of like the random crap goes that you don't know what to do with. So she got in here, grabbed one of the many permanent markers that I have in this little pile of crap here, went to the couch and proceeded to color on my couch with the permanent marker. Now, literally she did this within like, I think, I must have only been gone for like a minute and a half, two minutes. I couldn't believe that she, during that short amount of time, got it in her head to do that, succeeded with doing that, and really like effed up my night. So um, look, if you're going to put my phone on the floor, I'm going to take it away. Do you hear me? Phone does not belong on the floor. And don't undress yourself. Um, no. So... I did some research and I just wanted to be sure to share this with you guys because I know there are other people out there who have children and who do crap like this. Um, it turns out that using rubbing alcohol or even an acetone based nail polish remover for some reason, oh this is great, for some reason I couldn't bring myself to use the acetone nail polish remover on the couch, I do have some. Um, but I decided to use the rubbing alcohol and I got almost like 98% of it out. You can barely see. It took me a long time and you really just need to like, so you take like a clean towel and your, um, your uh, isopropyl alcohol and you just like dab at it like this, like over and over and over again. It takes a long time. It took me about 45 minutes to do this, but the vast majority came out and um, so what I'm gonna do is the next time that we have our carpets cleaned I'm gonna go ahead and um, have them clean the couch too really is this necessary but I wanted to be sure to let you guys know she also um, she had also grabbed a uh, pen just a regular like ballpoint pen and was coloring over here it completely took the ballpoint pen away so and it hasn't like harmed the fabric in any kind of way from what I can tell it's still the same like this isn't microfiber it's it's definitely fabric but This morning when her daddy sneezed, she said, bless you, daddy. It was the cutest thing ever. Bless you, daddy. Yeah. Bless you, daddy. Bless you, daddy. <laughs> so cute. And it was so clear when she said it, and she just, like, said it on her own. Like, it's just amazing to me that she's, like, at an age now where, like, she's starting to, like, I don't know, like, really relate to other people. Empathy is not really something that girlfriend has picked up yet, but I think developmentally that's a little ways away, so I'm not worried about that. But it was just, it was a very sweet little gesture. Sorry, I missed that. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Craig took one of our cabinet doors to his uncle's house so that he could put the first couple layers of paint on there to see how it turns out. So it looks like if... You're so funny, you and Siri. Um, if that goes well, then hopefully we'll maybe be doing the project here soon. Because I can't believe it's already like well into January. It's like the 6th already. I don't know how that happened. This table, um, 
Do you like how I just give you like the rundown of like the random crap that I'm thinking about in my head? So last night I was looking at this table and it really bothers me that, so it's completely clean right now. All of these like spots and stuff. Stop it. What is the matter with you? All of these spots are just like dull. They're just dull because people didn't use coasters or from like the cleaning products that I use. Because Stella does put her mouth on this table, I do use like antibacterial wipes on it. I know that's not good for the wood finish, but if she's going to put her mouth on something, like I would rather have it be clean. So I'm going to um, just lightly sand the top of this and then um, find a stain that's basically this color and just do the top again. Because it's a nice table. I got it as a birthday gift like three three and a half years ago, three, four years ago, something like that. So um, I like it. I like the table. It worked better when we had our other couches because, so it's an oval shape because we had a couch here and we had a couch here. So it was great for that. It doesn't work with a sectional. So this sectional in our new house will probably go into, like if we have like a bonus room upstairs that will be like our TV, like entertaining room. We'll stick this up there. Along with the baby that can't be quiet. <laughs> and we'll probably just get like two traditional couches again so that this will go downstairs in like the, you know, like typical family room kind of area. And Craig promised me to take the tree down tonight because it's just making me sad at this point because I want to decorate it again. <laughs> You're so funny. So in true fashion, this intro was way longer than it needed to be. But we had a great weekend, and um, hopefully it'll be a great week. Oh, so sweet. Hey, guys. Okay, so I was able to take a shower. Craig pumped up my exercise ball yesterday, so I feel like you might just be staring at my boobs. Sorry if that's the case. I have no idea. Um, last night... And Stella's taking a nap, so I'm finally able to like get ready and hopefully record a couple videos. Um, last night I used the Queen Helene Mint Julep Mask, which I really like, but I always tend to like break out a little bit afterwards, and it's just because I'm kind of purging some stuff that needed to come out anyway, so I don't dislike the mask for that, but it's always kind of like, oh man, now I have to prepare myself for like having a bunch of little bumps. It's really not bad, like I don't get like big zits anymore like it's like once in a blue moon I'll get one but for the most part it's just a bunch of like little bumps so um I wasn't super excited about that but I could feel that my skin just needed like a really deep cleaning which is why I used that last night so the breakouts definitely started immediately after I've got a few here doo -doo -doo here whatever um, let's see. I'm trying to, I've got a couple of ideas for videos that I want to upload. I was doing a bunch of like research last night and taking a bunch of notes. I think the video that, sorry, I don't know why I try to talk when I do this. The video that I want to put up today or at least get recorded today, um, I need to do my skincare favorites from 2013 for like face and body, but then I also really want to get up my, um, uh, I've been wanting to do a video about the benefits of apple cider vinegar. I had mentioned that in a couple of my blogs, I think. So I wanted to get that up since it's the new year and everybody is kind of all about like detoxing right now and like jump starting like your metabolism because I really do think that the apple cider vinegar works for that. There's also like so many other benefits to it. A lot of it like isn't like necessarily scientifically proven but um, I do know that uh, it's just a very beneficial product and um, I just kind of wanted to share the, <clears throat> the information with you guys so if you did like want to try it um, you just had some information to start with so there's obviously tons of like videos that you can watch about apple cider vinegar but I just want to kind of share my experience with experiences with it and what works for me really 
Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish getting ready really quickly. I feel very odd sitting this high up. Like, this feels weird. <laughs> so um, I'm gonna go ahead and finish getting ready and then record those videos and hopefully quickly eat lunch before Stella wakes up. So cross your fingers, hopefully I can get it all done. So the darling monkey butt is awake. She had her baba. Oh, she was nice enough to put it on the coffee table for me. Isn't she cute? And then, um, so, uh, yeah, remember how I said we were going to go grocery shopping this weekend? That never happened. So, um, I was trying to figure out what to feed Stella for, like, lunch. And we decided to go with eggs. Because it's really kind of her favorite. So I just did two eggs. I always break the yolk because it's a little bit messy if I don't. No. You don't want me to break the yolk? No. No, okay. Well, m next time maybe I'll just not do that. Oh, it's a cushy. Okay, well, what just happened? Nothing. Nothing? What do you think of your eggs? Mm -hmm. Do you like them? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Well, good. So, I have decided that since my kind of serious video didn't work out for today, I'm going to go ahead and um, Stella and I are going to go upstairs and we're going to record our like New Year's goals and... I don't want to call it resolutions, but essentially, basically, it's like the same thing as resolutions, but I'm calling them goals. For 2014, Stella has some as well. This is going to be a big year for Stella. She's going to turn two, so lots of things are going to change for her, like they do almost every single day, because she's a kid, and she just grows so much, and it just blows my mind. Um, so, yeah, so I'm going to wait for her to have lunch, get her cleaned up. I am having a second cup of coffee for the day. <laughs> now, you might think, Melanie, your coffee looks weird slash oily. So the reason that it does is because I have been adding just about half a teaspoon, um, sometimes a full teaspoon of the extra virgin coconut oil. If you guys don't know, so there's tons of health benefits to coconut oil as well. It's a really, really good fat. Um, it makes you feel fuller longer and it just it's just good for my insides i'm just gonna leave it at that but um anyway so it makes my coffee kind of taste yummy because it has like a coconutty flavor to it and i'm about to take away all of the health benefits of this by what i'm going to do next i'll show you what that is which is adding just a little bit of this because i love it you guys it's the samoas they call it caramel and coconut, but those are Samoas, and I love them. They're like a death sentence for me in terms of my ass. Oop, butt, my butt. <laughs> she goes, oh. Mom is trying not to cuss as much. Okay, so a little bit. And I also have to put just a little bit of regular milk in there because I'm big on like not straight up coffee. Can I see what I'm doing? Yes. Okay. So, and then I just mix that. And if you're wondering, like, if it's weird having, like, the oil floating on top, um, not really. It kind of coats my lips and acts as, like, a lip balm. So, I don't know. I like it. Not everybody's going to like it. There's actually this special coffee drink that people make who are, like, super health freak nuts. Um, so they use coconut oil and then also like organic grass-fed butter and they like blend it together with their coffee and then they add like, I don't know, cinnamon or nutmeg or something like that. Um, it's like a bulletproof coffee or some kind of bullet, bullet something. I'm not that hardcore. I'm not putting butter in my coffee, but I do like the coconut and I do know that it's good for me. So I cooked Stella's eggs in coconut oil. Craig hates it. He's just like, don't ever buy that stuff again. But Stella likes it. I like it. Oh my God, it's so good. 
It's so good, you guys. Okay, Stella, hurry up and eat. Let's go talk about some goals. Ooh. Goals. <laughs> hey, Mr. Kong is eating dinner, okay? So I can't believe um, how this happened, but like the day is already almost over. Well, not technically. I guess it's not even like five yet, but I think her late nap today totally threw my day off. Tomorrow, I'm going to take her to the flower market to bring back a bunch of containers that I need to return to them. So, we're going to do that tomorrow. So, we're going to get out of the house for a little bit. I have totally been going um, or putting off. Okay, you know, do you remember what happened the last time you did that? that? That chair fell over on top of you, but go ahead and do it. You're going to learn a lesson again. Um, so I've been avoiding taking Stella out just because I, like, lifting her in and out of the car seat I think is really difficult right now. I'm hoping to get the okay to start doing little things like that um, at my appointment tomorrow. Ooh, no. That is not an area for Stella at all. Come here. Come on. Come here. Come with Mama. So... Stella has just been playing with her computer, and I gave her one of my old wallets, and it's got a picture of my mom, my dad, and my brother and I, and she loves looking at it. It cracks me up. The fireplace on. I'm catching up on The Real Housewives of Atlanta, and um, I feel so cold today. Um, I just sometimes stand in front of the fireplace like this and warm my buns. So, I don't know what else to say. Today <laughs> was just like every other day. Um, we didn't even do anything fun today, did we? Well, we read some books. So after we recorded our um, goals video together, <laughs> we went into her room and um, Yesterday I cleaned out my closet and I just, I threw a bunch of stuff away, um, just a bunch of like random crap and I kind of organized my closet. I might show you guys tomorrow um, what I did in there, but I'm trying to organize stuff and get rid of things like I have a huge box going that's going to be going to Goodwill um, just because I want to get all of like the clutter and stuff out of the house now so I don't have to do it when we move. Hi. She's so cute. So, yeah, but I'll kind of do like an organizational type video tomorrow and just maybe talk a little bit more about that kind of stuff then. So, yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and call it quits for today. But thank you guys for joining us. And Stella, would you like to say bye bye? Say, so we see you tomorrow. Hi. We see you later, alligators. Bye bye. Bye bye, alligators. All right, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.